let's see here um first one out so three of gabriel so this is that feeling of you you know you're almost there you're achieving a level of success and maybe new opportunities are opening for you so the things that you've been praying for or manifesting they're somehow reaching you um so this is that time to do any kind of strategic planning or um just putting logic into your future plans um and then really be optimistic about the next steps that you're going to take to uh, play out those those plans okay um this is the turn the tide is turning is what i feel here with the three of gabriel that's really good indication that things are going to lighten up for the better you know and then the six of michael same thing i do feel like this is where there is that light of at the end of the tunnel it's a time to sort of breathe take a deep breath um and really reflect on the positive things because this is a card of leaving turmoil leaving conflict you know there's a brighter day ahead um, and this is where we're going to be going as far as I see on a big mass scale. Um, so really maybe also uh, making plans if you want to start traveling or having the sense of um, perhaps I feel like freedom or the sense of uh, no restrictions, something like that. OK, um, and then you have the 10 of Michael. So. And this is also an indication a 10 is telling us we're going to reset we're going to start over um but without conflict without feeling betrayed uh this is a situation is ending uh so be careful where you're getting your information or what you're paying attention to because some things are misleading and they're trying to make you sort of go towards this place of thinking like all is lost but it's quite opposite so because there is new opportunities for happiness happening here um, and it's time to put the past behind us and really start to regrow and, and shape your life in a different way. Uh, you got the aid of Raphael. See, it's saying almost the same thing. Um, it's what you're focusing on. OK, um, there is something better for you here. So there's something that maybe you've lingered for a long time, like in a, in a in an unhappy situation um this is where your heart hasn't really quite felt the situation like uh, not being happy not being fulfilled uh, things that hold you back this is that card to tell you uh, do what's right for you um maybe this is also leading you down a new spiritual quest um this is very healing energy i feel okay and so be very attention be very uh Pay very close attention to what you're let, allowing in because there's a lot of misinformation going on and it's trying to lead you to stay in that dark space, okay? When in actuality, things are happening by, behind the surface and you just can't see it is what they're saying, okay? And then there we go. We have the King of Ariel. So this is very good masculine energy that creates stability. Um, this is also accomplishing things. Um, so this is telling you your plans are working out. Uh, perhaps in professional settings or even um, financial, having financial success. If that isn't what is happening to you, it could be that level of success in, in relationships, something like that, okay? Um, let's see, the top of the deck, and it is the Knight of Raphael, which is great because before I was shuffling, this one came out a couple times. So this is really speaking about committed relationships, um, being swept off your feet. And perhaps if it's not relating to love, it's those situations or topics that make your, your heart and your passion sort of kick in and flutter. OK, so something's coming in with this Knight of Raphael. It's very good. Um, let's see the bottom of the deck. You've got the four of Michael. So, you know this is that time to relax take take some time for you whether that is a massage a bath a meditation don't worry about the things that are happening because like i said there's a lot of things happening happening under the surface and you can't quite see it yet um so this is where maybe if you're not getting enough sleep or you're stressed out take some time off and really um really seek relief from stress okay because things are gonna sort of shift into a better thing for you okay so take it as it resonates for you today it is a general reading, so I will um, tap into different things that are happening for different people. So please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you, guys. There's just so much going on in the world around you. Don't think that it's all negative because it's really not. It's what the upside down world wants you to think. So stay focused on your true dream and what you want because things are going to get easier. Um, let's see here. Let's see, what is the three of Gabriel? The three of Gabriel, please. Three of Gabriel. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. 
so this is where you know who you are with the queen of Pen Pen pentacles it's stability um i feel that if you're waiting for some sort of news to arrive this is where that that news comes in and it sort of alleviates your stress or the sense of feeling unstable okay that could be something that's coming in towards for you like a message it also could be that maybe you're opening up to receive things um i do feel with us clarifying the three of gabriel there's really that sense of um opening up and receiving uh, really focus on the things that you're going to do okay i do feel it is divine timing and that sense of things are starting to manifest for you and appear for you and maybe you feel it or maybe you're just feeling uncertain that it's going to happen but it is going to happen here um what is the page of swords maybe oh, I, i'm getting the hiccups guys i don't know why but um I feel like the page of swords is where you're opening up to vulnerabilities maybe this is you maybe this is your person maybe this is what's happening in your home or work or something like that so take that as it resonates um the page of swords please page of swords page of swords so the nine of pentacles um see that's where i feel there's an opening in that sense of vulnerabilities healing um it is in reverse maybe you're starting to let go of the past maybe you're starting to open up to spirituality or um see things in a different light is this you is this your person um you know there's two people on that card so has someone helped you along the way have you helped someone along the way uh the queen of pentacles please queen of pentacles and because you're healing and letting go of things and you're seeing things different you're you're taking a dive and really looking at things differently is what is allowing you to sort of have your ships dock you know um queen of pentacles is it finance is it love i mean you have to take it as it resonates for you um so you got the four of cups and it did sort of come out in reverse and the seven of cups so perhaps oh okay and then the knight of pentacles so that's definitely that sense of uh tangible things coming to you not to worry um to let go of things this is going to release you from things where you know either you settled for things or you didn't make an attempt to go towards things um i think you, this is a life lesson also with the knight of pentacles maybe it's a lesson in love and relationships and hurt and pain and betrayal um I do feel with the three of swords being right here at the top of the deck this is maybe where you've stuck yourself in a place of unsatisfactory kind of um things you know like relationships work um just that sense of not feeling um either adequate or um it just feels as if maybe you've you've waited a long time for a new opportunity and i oh look at that the eight of cups at the bottom so whatever this is for you it's almost allowing you to leave those unfulfilling situations or relationships or work or whatever that is okay there is new opportunity that's going to be presented to you and just know that tangible things are coming in for you okay maybe this is a love offer maybe this is that message you've been waiting for um with work or uh moving or money something like that okay um but they're positive i do feel it's uh you're on the way up maybe from being in a place where your luck has just never um been been good you know i feel like that's start switching for you don't get too caught up in in those things that happened in the past is what they're saying okay uh six of michael what is the six of michael please what's the six of michael the six of michael so uh, this is the judgment card so that time to release i believe you've gone to that point where you've released something and this is giving you that new beginning um i it is in reverse and it's just telling me things are getting easier and if it hasn't gotten easier for you maybe you do need to sort of take that walk on that wild side and sort of uh you know experience different things see things differently be discerning take help from other people um with the nine of wands that would help you sort of feel less sort of betrayed or abandoned or um hurt or full of pain you know so see the way it came out i definitely do feel like that is that sense of you've made that that step into having a new beginning for yourself and it is spiritual this will allow you to get the messages that you need to come in for you um and maybe you're learning you know um let's see here what is the judgment here the judgment is allowing you to leave the, the things that haven't been working out for you you got the ten of pentacles in reverse um 
you know, maybe you settled it for a long time in an unhappy marriage or an unhappy work situation or a situation where maybe, you know, your family was somewhat telling you what to do. Um, this is that cause to let go of that and really think about yourself and what's going to be happy for you. Um, Ten of Pentacles, it is success. It is that new beginning. Um, I feel like the way they're, they're looking right now, you know, the way they're facing up or reversed, it's almost that sense of... Um, what your life can be start manifesting from right now what your life what you want your life to be um there is success there definitely i do feel like there's that sense of maturity as well ten of pentacles what is a ton of pentacles but in the family or some level of success uh financially or home or something like that okay ten of pentacles what is the ten of pentacles please so you got the page of wands and the three of wands um maybe you're Oh, you're you're done looking at the past as far as regrets or if not you could be focused on those things so this is a message to tell you to let go of those things um the eight of wands in reverse also that sense of maybe where you've been stuck from communicating you'll be able to open up and communicate some more um or maybe start communicating i should say not some more but start communicating um i do feel with the page of wands there is that kind of energy of maybe restlessness and you want to move towards something and you haven't been able to um i definitely do feel like this is where you're going to get that um that green light to go you know um leaving difficult things because the six of michael is difficult things you're, you're coming out of it so um maybe there's this sort of message of inspiration coming to you from another individual or from your your higher self yourself from god whatever that might be because this is definitely that sense of balancing out so then you can go towards the things that you've been waiting for okay um i do feel like with the page of wands there's definitely that sense of being creative and courage having courage and confidence to leave something or to maybe stand up for your rights or something like that okay um, there might have been some sort of caution or even you hesitated about things in the past. Um, but and, and, you know, as a as a place of um, trying to create things, it's almost like you have writer's block or some kind of block on you. But it, it's somehow move, you're moving away from that. OK, um, I do feel the three of wands is really that kind of card where you can start to see things happen in your life and you start getting things tangible things happen in your life as far as manifestations sort of appearing um, and maybe you've lost hope because there is success in your visions um, and really being persistent in what you want you know um, so maybe this is also like if it's related to work this could be that energy where you take that leadership and you start to um you know make your own happiness okay uh, within a home within a family within yourself whatever that might be um i want to know what is the ten of michael ten of michael so ooh, transformations galore um that is a card of of ending betrayal and manipulation and um getting yourself out of darkness and somehow allowing yourself to grow again um and not being blocked you know i feel like the blockages are going to start lifting you know and you're going to see it on the tent on the tangible level as far as the 3d which will allow you to sort of go forward in the 5d okay um what is the death card with the ten of swords the death card a transformation for somebody for yourself the four of pentacles so um maybe this is that lump sum that you are going to receive this also could be that you need to speak about about you need to speak up about something something that you've been holding back have you been holding yourself back from really becoming stable um the death card is really helping you to release that kind of old pattern okay um what is the eight of raphael the eight of raphael um so the knight of wands really passionate listening to those new ideas that are coming this is also an arrival of a message or an offer that is made to you by someone um and it is about love and that kind of stuff so look out for that kind of offer or keep manifesting that to come to you don't push it away from you um the knight of wands so ooh, page of cups so fulfilling something um as far as emotion um as far as you know being vulnerable because i definitely got that with the queen of pentacles and the page of swords um it's almost like allowing yourself to be vulnerable is that you going towards that person or is that person coming towards you you know that's the question um page of cups page of cups it is a message maybe it's an offering um 
let's see page of cups healing also so the 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 um high priestess in reverse and the hierophant the queen of swords and i definitely do feel the, the king of wands there so some kind of clarity some things that are maybe you know have gone on said it's almost as if there's this sense of knowledge and leadership um, and maybe holding the key to yourself to what you want to do not so much society or family or religion or whatever that might be with the hierophant but uh, the high priestess is really um, you know things that have been sort of shown to you but maybe in the past you like I said didn't want to take it or um, were resistant you know so but this is secrets uh, being revealed um, there's really that sense of deliberate ignorance on purpose. You know, things have been done on purpose um, and really disconnected from yourself. But see, the other ones are upright. So these are the things that are going away, the things that I just said, which is great. And perhaps you haven't seen them yet because there is that sort of mystery to it. And I do believe that there's something that needs to come out from this, this high priestess. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to know, how does this story end, please? How does this story end? How does the story end, please? So the Four of Swords, relaxed. Take 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 that path. Um, think about yourself. Be healthy. Um, know that you're being protected. Know that you see there's someone else there. There's someone there for you. You're not alone. Whether that is, you know, Christ. Whether that is, um, you know, your higher self. Uh, maybe even that sense of another person. There is protection. There is safety with the four of swords. Okay. Um, so don't try to rush things. They're going to happen on in due time. Okay. There's that page of cups you see. And the six of wands. Victory. Success. Some sort of offer. Be patient. Um, don't don't sort of. Um, you know what I'm seeing is when there's a race that's going to start. And somebody goes first before the green flag is put down. It's like, don't try to hurry something is what I see. Okay. Um, and the page of swords. So see, there is some kind of answer coming to you or some sort of a situation that's going to allow you to go towards the thing that you want, the thing, the person, whatever that is. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to know how do they continue to manifest this, please? How do they continue to manifest this? Um, so manifest and doing so you'll know the right time you'll know the right time to take action okay uh and don't sit with the four of cups sort of still stuck in the past and uninterested in changing or settling for things that are not really truly meant for you okay um remember that was by design to keep us like that and we're breaking this whole new we're breaking this whole sort of paradigm you know we're going towards the new so um also your soul shine so let your soul shine okay um let's see and then also you have the external validation so knowing that you're doing right um your your soul will tell you okay um let's see here i want to know um what is the karmic situation here oops sorry guys that was me what is this karmic situation here please what can you show me karmic situation please What is the karmic situation here? Okay, and that one. Okay, so uh, let's see. It says here engagement ring. So um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and a union. Okay, so then not today. Um, not dealing hurt. Not dealing. Avoiding conversation boundaries. Um, so really take that time for yourself and let go of those energies. Okay. And then the chaser. So chaser and, and in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. That was the karmic situation. Okay. And then coffee cup. So meeting and conversing. Um, I do feel like that's going to happen here. And the grim ripper, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. So, you know, if you're stuck in a situation where you keep chasing somebody and they don't want you, um, you might have to let it go in order to get to the point where you really come to this place of union, okay? Um, that could be vice versa. It could be for the other person or for you. So don't shoot the messenger. Just take it as it resonates, guys. It's a general reading. Um, let's see here. Uh, what is the message here, please? The angel message here. What can you show me? The angel message. Okay. So it's this one here. It says, Azure your desired outcome will occur in the very near future have patience and faith and don't try to force anything to happen right that's what i was seeing like somebody 
it's trying to make it go faster than divine timing and that's where you have to learn patience okay and once you do that things sort of just come in what is the message here please what is the message here okay so spirit guides your spirit guides are trying to, to sort of guide you and then travel so um you will be able to travel and move along freely okay um let's see what is the unicorn message here uh i think travel is also movement you're be, being able to move um so then you have the exercise so run walk swim or or otherwise move your body this will give you more energy and happiness and that might be part of the taking care of yourself that is needed with this four of swords okay um brothers and sisters get along with others see the love and the best within them okay coming together unifying um what else about those two okay so there is definitely great change that is happening right now the changes that you're going through are positive practice the best way to get good at the skill is to practice 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 until you get it right um, and then decide it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want and the family culture so learn more about your family stories and history okay um, as you do that you release karma stuff with your family uh, kar karmic patterns i guess life karmic patterns i was going to ask what is the abundance message and they're just flying out so the first one is trust allow me divine to give you my deepest longing trusting you to know exactly how to handle them that is try. that is true and then your path dear lord help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what i can see through my fears and illusions and that's really what this reading is about you know because other side is trying to tell you it's the end of the world but it's really not it's the end of their world but we're heading into the thousand year of peace it's biblical guys it's biblical um expansiveness eternity is far more creative than the rigid constrained and exhausted ego that's right um and then grounded so many of the most and evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy dignity and courage and that is so true i love it very nice um so let's see uh, i want to know okay what is the insight that comes with this reading what is the insight here what pertains to this reading what pertains to this reading please okay so let's see here wow okay the first one Ooh, we the people and is that not what is happening right now we sort of have to stand back and get our country back in america i think all over the world declaration defiance reclaiming power sovereignty contract resolve expressing the truth manifesto self-rule liberty or death rules of the game see the guards are changing um youtube doesn't allow me to go really in detail but there's a lot of stuff happening that you just don't see um, and my guides really show me things. And a lot of times I tell things to people and they turn their back or they turn the deaf ear or they just don't understand what I'm saying. So I do believe it has a lot to do with the upside down world keeping a hold on us. But it's we're breaking free from them, guys. Um, the microphone, news, trending, broadca broadcast, expression, strong opinion, make it known, current events, public speaking, speak the truth. And then it's time very nice so it's time for action things are fast tracked to unfold quickly and smoothly so hold that faith hold on to that okay um so let's see i'm gonna close it off let's let's do the romance and then i'll close it off what is coming in the form of love and romance for the viewer please love and romance for the viewer okay okay one more they said one more it's this one okay so children your love life is being affected by children either you're worried about your children you're staying settled in a place because of your children but they're telling you your children are going to be okay the other side of this is that children represent a new beginning also the sense of loyalty so you have to take that as it resonates separation it's time time apart from your partners on the present horizon uh this also could be that you're starting to let go of karmic situations and look at you got the codependency so uh, addictions are affecting your romantic life and so as things start to progress and they change for us these addictions and these sort of um things you're going to be able to let go of them okay so you this is this is a wedding so this situation involves a marriage and then it is worth waiting for so divine timing is at work in your love life okay so don't get too uh distraught or thinking that it's not going to happen um let's see here what is the kwan yin please 
What is the Kuan Yin? Okay. Oh my goodness, there's three. So maybe this is for different people, guys. So you have this one here. Uh, you have finding your way. When your feet seem to lead you one way and your head says to go a different way, tune to your heart. I will guide you there, helping you to see my signs and most easily find your way on your beautiful journey. And then this one here. So keeping it simple, your mind may convince you that manifesting your destiny is more difficult or complex than it needs to be. Yet the guidance of the Divine Mother is to keep things simple. Do what you do. Let go of everything else. That's right. And then this one right here. Um, medicine of the Divine Mother. Choose your Divine Medicine to feel grounded and peaceful. Your morning walk, your daily prayer or yoga, your time to dance each evening or meditate, do an oracle reading or sit quietly with a cup of tea and reflect upon what you're grateful for in that moment. Simple daily routines done with awareness allow you to feel my love for you. And that's beautiful. I definitely do feel once you get yourself to a place where you do things on routine, they just come natural. For me, it's always meditating before my feet hit the ground in the morning because that's when you're most likely to be connected to your consciousness and um, you can just create love in that in that space. Um, it works. I feel like it definitely does work. So there you go. I do hope you like this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a beautiful day, guys.